you had the control of the entire Bakhmut which you lost. Hello my friends, we have the new update on the front lines from the Deep State military map resource, which I think is the one of the most precise resources where you can get the information about what is happening on the front lines. <laughs> If the name says deep state, it is of the Ukraine. That's like saying that if you want to know exactly what's going on in Ukraine, you must watch this guy's channel. Plus, you'll have six months for free. You would know exactly what is not going on in Ukraine. I don't even call this guy a propagandist, okay? So hurry up and join. What would you call it? Misinformationist. That's why, That's why his, his channel, channel got, got demonetized. demonetized. Okay? And that Arthur Rahi guy and all these people. They are creating facts out of thin air. You know? Thin air that comes out of there. As so, long story short, if you want to know what's going on in Bakhmut, you should check out the map of Wagner. Never check out this map because let me just see. Let me see what, according to these people, is the situation. Because the situation of Bakhmut is like this. Okay, everything is gone of the Ukrainsky. This was their place. Okay, this is exactly the Ukrainians were controlling and they were controlling these regions. Now it is gone. Okay, now Ukraine controls only this, this small piece. Like from this distance, you cannot even see what Ukrainian control. It is all gone. And I'm telling you that these small things, these two, three things, you know, they change the strategy. These fake news spreaders, Denis Davidov and all these other people have changed their strategy. They are not talking about Bakhmut like in that way that the Russians cannot take Bakhmut is what they used to say before. But now they changed their strategy and said that Ukraine is going to to encircle Bakhmut. <laughs> are you understanding me? That's what now they are selling. They are selling this new bullshit that Ukrainsky is now going to encircle Bakhmut like this. But you are not even able to keep this small area. Okay, this. You cannot even control this small area. You cannot even control this. You had the control of the entire Bakhmut which you lost to the Russians, the Wagners, and now you're talking about going inside their territory and encircling them while Wagner just waits and sees what's going on. This is why I don't like the people that predict the future. I mean, you got to be very pathetic to pay a person to tell you the future, a fortune teller. That's what these people are. They say things like this. So what is going to happen? is uh, Ukraine is going to take and circle Bakhmut and take Bakhmut and then what's going to happen is they are doing the counter offensive from here and they are doing the counter offensive from there and that way they are going to take all these territories all these territories back what? if they had so much power how would they allow Wagner to take all this territory huh? to take important places like Soledar and all this and that why couldn't you just take these places first if you have that much power? Dude, we are talking about counter offensive. We are talking about things in the future. Counter offensive? What counter offensive? A counter offensive that you did in Kharkiv when Russia had just 100,000 soldiers in this entire area? Yes, we are talking about that. We are also talking about the counter-offensive that we did in Kherson. What counter-offensive you did in Kherson? Let me check what Kherson is. Where the fuck Kherson is? Where are you? Okay, this is Kherson. Yes, we did a counter-offensive here and kicked the Russians out of here. No, that's not what you did. Yes, we did it. What you did was this. You used this bridge. Okay. There was a huge amount of 25,000 Russian soldiers that were present in this area. And then what you did is you bombed this place, this Antonovsky bridge, all day long for many months. 
okay and you succeeded in creating a lot of holes in that bridge then you told the russian people that you are going to float mines okay like the mines from this area that's what they said they said we are going to float mines into this water and this mine will come here and destroy the dam and russians took it seriously this possibility that they could technically uh, you know send a lot of uh, mines so russians thought that if that happens it would be catastrophe okay and all the troops that are present in here will be trapped and russia can now no longer provide them with anything it would be a nightmare so what russians did is they decided to withdraw from kherson okay they first withdraw the civilians then they withdraw their army and when they were leaving they destroyed the power plant and the bridge to that dam you know that dam has a bridge on it and they destroyed that bridge okay and also their power station turbines and all this and that and then they left this doesn't mean that ukraine kicked the russians out of there that's a very different way even ukraine at that time if you look at the news they were saying that it might be a trap we don't want to get in there it might be a trap that the russians have set so they were scared of getting inside kherson region so 6 months ago when this was going on i will prove it 6 months ago this was the headline russian withdrawal from kherson may be a trap russians left behind bodies booby traps in kherson region ukrainian forces cautiously advanced into kherson fearing a trap as russian troops retreat is russia setting a trap in kherson putin's men signal retreat zelensky fears russian trap for ukrainian forces russia gave up kherson but ukraine isn't convinced ukraine fears russian trap ukraine slams russia's kherson withdrawal putin trying to trap zelensky's men near dnipro putin orders retreat from kherson ukrainian victory or russian trap Ukraine fears Russian trap in Kherson. What is this? Moment Russian soldier catches and throws away Ukrainian drone bombs. Hmm. Should I watch it? Should we watch it? Yes. So he literally caught the bomb. Wow. This is the second bomb that shows the Ukrainian power of their bombs, you know, that they don't even detonate and it's a good thing for Russia. If Russians wanted to win, they would not allow Ukrainian drones to fly in the air. they would jam the ukrainian drones i will make a video on this so technically speaking what i would say is now the things are very difficult for the ukrainians to be honest with you